All right, hello and welcome everyone to Mickey Art. It's me, Michelle, on day two of Painting with Patreons. My Patreon pool party. How does it get any better than this? We've already been chatting for over half an hour, um, having a great time, and uh, you wouldn't want to be part of it because it's just too much fun. Anyway, um, so if you can hear people giggling in the background or interjecting, making sn smart comments, that's them. They're here to play with me. <laughs> the one that was just interjecting is accusing someone else of being the one that interjects. How does it get any better than that? You know, you only accuse others of what you yourself are doing. <laughs> All right. So they decided that they hate me and they're going to make me do all the things that I really don't want to do. And I let them guide me on the colours and so we're going pastel. We're using yellow. You know my thoughts on yellow and painting. We're going green. You know that one too. We're going pink. Guess who that was? Yes, Doug. And we're going um, pastel blue. Not my favourite. Um, but they did let me add in some iridescent medium, so I'm pretty pleased about that and um they tried to make me do a swipe and a balloon kiss which if you've been following me for a while you'll know i'm really bad at those so we're not doing those i put my foot down i stood up for myself and <laughs> so we'll do the colors we'll do the 16 by 20 canvas that uh, was requested but yeah no the rest of it no not happening so I have got some of my house paint, my white house paint, and put a blob of each colour in there. And I'm just going to stir those up. And um, we're going to get these little lovely pastel colours. And if you actually look at the spring colours, this is actually really quite in fashion, darling. Um... So, you know, that whole, what are those, what are those macaroons? You know, the macaroon colors? Oh, yeah, that yeah. is so in fashion. I just don't have purple. Um, that would have been better. Oh, my God, that is so, oh, just keep stirring, keep stirring. It will get better. Baby pink, baby pink, come on, bring on the baby pink. That was quite scary, that harsh pink. <laughs> That reminded me far too much of my 16-year-old school dance dress. <laughs> You've got to be concerned when a colour is called puce. Really? It's far too close to puke. <laughs> so we've got baby pink, baby blue, wimpy green and wimpy yellow. Who knows, this might come out something that somebody might wallpaper their house with, you know. I could put it on spoon paper, spoon flour and they can buy it to wallpaper the baby's room because they don't know what colour color their baby's going to come out. If you don't know what colour your baby's going to come out, you're not keeping track of your diary very well, that's all I can say. <laughs> No, we're not having any fun here at Patreon Poor Party. That's not allowed. <laughs> oh, how does it get better than this? Anyway. Um, so I put my foot down and said, no, we are not doing a swipe. We're not doing a balloon stampy kissy thing. We're going to do an open cut pour with a... Um, you know, the cardboard inner paper of a, yeah, paper, paper towel tube. That's the one. It's not a toilet paper tube, you know, because that, we need to plant those in the garden and grow more toilet paper. Oh, I, <laughs> my husband just showed me this video. It was called The Perfect Crime. And it was these guys had got uh, a drill and they'd put a little fitting on the end of the drill and they went into a public toilet and attached the end of the toilet paper to the pub and then started drilling and just filled up the, 
<laughs> they had this big, like they were stealing toilet paper from the public toilet. Oh, insane in the membrane, people. This is just, I know it was done as a joke and for fun, but really don't, don't encourage them. No, <laughs> They might think it's okay and they might go and do it. It's just not cool. <sighs> anyway, are we putting any silicon in? Oh, that's right. Doug has asked that we flick lube around the place. If you're wondering why he asked that. Um, I use Durex Play Perfect Glide as my silicon oil. Um, it's dimethicone. And please make sure you get the black and red one. Um, it's bad for the skin, good for the painting. Uh, interesting point of view. I have that point of view. <laughs> doesn't have aloe vera in it. Let's just say that. It doesn't have the added benefits of other options. Anyway, so we're going to flick that on top after we've done this. So, we're using um, our iridescent medium, medium as if it is a paint. So it kind of dries a little bit like silver, but sometimes it interacts with the other paints and creates fun stuff. So... We could end up with a blumongy brown, um, you know, past, pastel brown, darling, when we mix all these colours. And that is one of the problems with doing an open cup with such a tall cup. You know, it's, it's a good length. You're pouring from a height. So let's see. Let's see what magic we can create. So... Let's just start. Oh, there was some big lumps. Ah, that's not a good deal. The green has lumps. That's not a good place to start from, people. I don't know why that's got lumps and the others haven't. Anyway, I'm just going to layer them up. Holding the uh, the tube down against the canvas so it can't escape. We're going to end up with all sorts of colours of the rainbow with this. Purples and greens and brown and who knows. It may end up being... An escape artist. How rude. Don't run away. So tell me in the comments what fun are you having during this time of life. <laughs> Here in New Zealand I'm recording this on Thursday so you guys will see it later once the paintings have dried but we are here. Um, live on Thursday and it's day one of lockdown day one of level four alert nothing but essential services and of course food shops are essential services but hard liquor stock shops are not so you can buy your beer and wine from the supermarket but other than that you are screwed and not in a good way So, we're actually getting quite full in here. This is fun. Well, what's coming out the bottom is very pretty. It is. It's not supposed to be coming out the bottom, though. Oh. Tell it off. You are naughty, naughty paint. And no, I haven't been on the hard liquor. This is just the joy of painting, the joy of hanging out with peeps. So if you're bored and at home, it's only 10 bucks to join us. 10 bucks gives you, gets you all the videos and you get to join us for the rest of the series. Nearly done. Nearly finished. Are you ready for a good time? Is that enough paint guys or are we going to need some white around the outside? I'm sure we're going to need some around the outside. All right, let's put a. Let's put some white around the outside, just to. Oh, it's escaping! 
Ah, it's trying to beat me. Where's that stick? That's quite cool. There we go. Look, look at that. It's trying to escape. You are not allowed to do that. We don't want to lose the color. All right, I'm gonna pop some air bubbles, cover up the sound of the airplane. Are we flicking it on now or after we've stretched it? Oh, there is actually silicon in the in the red. I used pre-mixed red. So we're already getting some silicon bubbles. Not much, but there is a bit. Come on, votes from the cheap seats. <laughs> Doc, it's your it's your thing. Are we flicking it before we tilt or after we tilt? Why don't we do it before? That's different. I was just going to tilt it before so we can stretch it and get some really big ones. And then if we don't get a lot, we can always flick it after too. Good call. Cool. In case you guys couldn't hear him, he said flick it before, then we can get some big cells. And then if we don't have enough cells, we can always flick some more on later. I like that idea. I do, I do, but I'm just going to pop those bubbles that I'm seeing. I'm going to keep my eye out for those lumps of green as well. There's one there. And I didn't get it. Right, so when I say flicking silicon, all you do is you just put a tiny one drop of silicon on your finger. One drop is all it takes. And then flick, 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 flick. And as you flick that around where it hits the paint and there's multi layers of color, it starts to disperse the paint and show the layers that are underneath. How cool is that? Can you guys see that? That's cool. Alright, I'm going to zoom you lot out so you can see the whole lot before we start tilting and you yell at me. Those guys can't tell what I'm showing you so um, they can't tell me when I'm not doing it right. All right, let's stretch. Oh, look, there's that lump. Lump, lump, lump. Green. Lump, yes, lump. I lump, lump. I see lump. I see lumps of green in my paint. If they stay there, I know I will faint. There's another one. Ah, oh, I hate lumps. There's that one as well. Yes. I got it. <sighs> Back to it. So when you're stretching your cells, it does pay to go in one direction 
And I don't know any of their songs, so I'm not going to sing any. Don't worry. In case you got scared at that moment. I just understood what you were saying. <laughs> For those that don't understand that, there was a band called One Direction. Yeah, got it. <laughs> And then we'll... <laughs> I have to say, it's very pretty. It is. Not colours I would have on my bedroom wall, but it's not ugly. I feel like I'm looking at it through a fog though because it's so muted. Is, is that the um, iridescent? No, it's just because it's all those colours mixed with white. Uh -huh. And I'm oh. used to such bright colours. We probably could do have done with a bit more colour white on here. Soft and gentle, that is so not me. I can see some iridescence in there and I'm it will have a bit of a glittery effect when it dries, but I'm not sure we're gonna have any big patches of of iridescence. Just Scrape it and move on, he says. If it's not going to have big patches, scrape it and move on. I should have taken this all the way to the edge. First time we are starting to get ugly shapes. They're not ugly, they're just not perfect. There's no such thing as a bad pour, guys. It just doesn't match your expectations or your judgments. That's not true. There are some bad pours. <laughs> No, they just don't meet your expectations and judgments, oh, yeah, Judith. Right. <laughs> it's like somebody's saying somebody's ugly. It's like, no, they just don't meet the expected norm of beauty. That's true. There's okay. always something in there for somebody. What on earth? Ah! Go away. Decline. You guys still there? Can you still hear me? Sorry. That does not work for me at all. Where's the do not disturb? There. Go away. That was only my sister ringing. Can you still see? Yep, yes. Good. Right. I just clapped, just <laughs> let myself know where I need to edit it. There'll be a sharp spike in the sound file. Right. Got to get these lumps out. I don't want lumps. I don't like lumps. But I might have to live with these because the paint lumps are dissolving as I try and pick them up. Oh well. I think you've frozen. Yeah, you've frozen. Oh no. Um, what's right about this I'm not getting Minnesota, not am I back can you yes. hear me yay 
All right. Let's put you back on your shelf. Can you see? Yeah. Are we good? Yep. All right. I'm going to clap again. Right. Sorry about that interruption. Okay. I like it. As I said, not something I would hang on my wall, but definitely something that somebody who's on an acid trip might enjoy. <laughs> Very psychedelic and not that we're not that we're condoning drug usage. No, definitely not condoning drug drug usage. Absolutely not. But I am enjoying some of these cells. They are super cool. Check these out. That corner is gorgeous. Can you see how many rings are in some of these cells? Yes. They're beautiful. They're just amazing. Is that because of the dropping through the tall tube? So the paint? Yeah, there's the layers upon yeah. layers upon layers. Yeah. I remember when I was first learning and I was watching a lot of um, Anne-Marie Ritterhoff and she talked uh -huh. about having lots and lots of layers of paint to get the multi-layered cells so I like it and I'm very intrigued to see how this is going to turn out let's let's torch it one more time there's lots of little bubbles in there probably don't need to flick more I think Blue flicking body. more would be a bit of a waste to be honest it would it would yeah. cause a bit of too much disturbance in the force <laughs> yep i like it i do i do i do i do it would look cute in a little kids room it would look cute in a little kid's room. It's it's the sort of one that you could like, you know, add a little a name to or something. Oh yeah, with a cricket, you could put put a play in on this. Hmm. Put a unicorn on it. Put a uniform, did you say? A unicorn. A unicorn. Oh, that makes much more sense. <laughs> The horny horse. <laughs> I'm thinking, you want your child to go into their bedroom and all they see is a uniform? That, that's just cruel. But no, a unicorn? That's much more likely. There's iridescent medium in this corner down here. It's going to be funky to see. And through here, there is definitely iridescent medium in amongst some of those layers. And these cells here have got some in as well. I'm looking forward to it. Very excited. The, the one from yesterday, did it dry? Did the silver pop out a bit more? No. No, I was looking at that earlier and it's I mean it's not dry yet, but it's um no. it's the silver's just not not showing. I'm not oh, impressed. Wow. Force is not strong in that one. No, the force is not strong in that one. All right, so I'll be back once this is dry to show all of you how funky and fantastic it looks when it's dry. You know, these colors always darken up a little bit when they dry, so who knows? It might end up being something completely different to what it is right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'll be back in three, two, one. All right, there she is. All dry.
so it has darkened up but it hasn't lost that sort of in a fog kind of look um, it's still got that sort of washed out love heart still the same yay So there is very little iridescent medium showing through. Um, can you spot it? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Just on um, this cell here, there's... It's really hard to see what I'm seeing. You can kind of see a bit of a shimmer on that cell. And then around it, there's some little lines of shimmer as well and same as we move across here you can kind of see shimmery bits just and these ones over here have got some shimmery bits but we seem to be losing our metallics at the moment I'm not sure what's going on there so Oh, and we've got some in this one here too. But as an overall piece, I quite like it. I'm still not enamored with pastels. Uh, I'm glad I let them make me do it. Um, yeah. How does it get better than this? Who knows? What? But if we keep asking that question... We get to find out how does it get better 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 and now i just want to show you the bit of cardboard that i did with the leftovers got some funky little cells in there so let me know in the comments do you like the color combination would you paint this would you have these colors hanging in your house because we're all different and there is no right or wrong point of view so go ahead and let me know in the comments what do you like about it what don't you like about it what would you do different and uh but i do like the amount of rings that we've got on these cells and again, that's because of all the layers that I put in. The more layers of colour you have, the more rings you're going to get with yourselves. All right, my dear friends, thank you so much for coming to play. And the very special news that happened today. I'm so excited. We hit 50,000 subscribers. So welcome all of the new subscribers. Very grateful that you're here um thank you to my patreons for coming to play with me in the patreon lockdown pool party uh there's still some time to jump back in we did day five today um so uh having a rest tomorrow i'm having a day off giving myself a holiday how does it get any better um and then we'll be right back into it my tuesday most of you's monday so you've got till then to jump into patreon.com forward slash mickey art and come play with us it's only ten dollars for the month and you know if you wait until the first of april they won't charge your credit card until the first of may so there you go you've got time to make some money <laughs> How does it get any better? I adore you. Have fun. And I look forward to playing with you all super, super soon. Still asking for suggestions on what celebration we should do with the 50,000 subscribers. So jump into the community tab and let me know what you think we should do. And I would love to hear from you all. I adore you. Have fun. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.